Hey, what is going on there, YouTube? This is Matthews 5 and I am bringing to you a 25k Brazilian skill-ish squad builder. It contains contained quite a few skillers overall, and yeah, two five-star skillers and a few four-star skillers, as well as some overpowered players. But starting off in the goalkeeper role, we're going to have Julio Cesar. As you can see, I'm just going to put him in playing in the Liga Portuguesa this time. Uh, I packed him. I played eight games with him. And he's okay, the only issue I find is that his tracking back is awful. His speed does not help him, but overall he is a solid goalkeeper. Moving on to the right back position, we're going to have Raphael. I've used him so many times, first owner, played 12 games, he's got a 4 star weak foot and 3 star skill move for a right back. And yeah, he's just got great overall solid stats and I'd recommend him. For the right centre back, we have Marquinhos or Marquinhos, however you want to pronounce it. 650 coins for this budget beast. Uh, yeah, eight games, no goals, pretty much off the crossbar, off the bar every single time, really. And yeah, very tall and fast. Same as the left centre back, we have Felipe Santana. I paid 1.7k. He's six foot four with 80 pace, 78 defending, and 74 physical stats. And yeah, no goals, but still just a solid tracking back. Centre back. For the left back, we're going to have Alex Sandro. 2.7k I played for him. Just performs well for the role, really. He's just a great player overall. Um, yeah, really strong as well in game. For the right central defensive mid, we're going to have Fernando Lucas Martins. 78 pace, 77 defending, and 78 physical stats. And yeah, he's basically like a small, strong man, pretty much. He doesn't give up the ball that well like often but when he does it's usually due to a slide tackle going on to the left centre mid or central defensive mid go Felipe Melo he's just a god to be honest he's amazing he's got above 70 on every stat 80 defending and 86 physical he scored three goals for me and yeah he's just a beast overall he's also got a quality long shot I wish I scored one with him but I didn't sadly so yeah uh, moving on to the first camp position we are going to have Alex Torreira, however you want to put it. He was average, like, he wasn't amazing to be honest, he wasn't the best in the world. He'd start running, get fast, and then just scuff the shot pretty much, so yeah. I might not recommend him, but you can go with who you want, maybe Ronaldinho there, I don't know. In the right camp position though, we're going to have the Beast, the 5 star skiller, Douglas Costa. Scored 2 games and 8 goals for me, 85 pace, 5 star skills, not much else to say. He's really decent to be honest, he kind of acts like a right mid in a way. But yeah, going on to the left cam, we're going to have one of the amazing players returning back to FIFA. We're going to have Marlos, this time he's a gold but with only 4 star skill moves. Still, he's 650 coins and performs well to the role. And yeah, he scored a goal for me. Um, not much else I can say. You probably want to switch these two around. But yeah, I'm not really too fussed about who takes shots. Because it's mainly based on the striker. Who is going to be Elton. The beast from last year. Still with 5 star skill moves. I paid 10,000 coins for him. He scored 4 goals in 8 games for me. 89 pace. And he is just rapid. He just he just boosts through every player's like literally. He just lets off the afterburners and just paces through every player. He's small, fast, and can skill. What else do you need? That's it, guys. If you did enjoy, I do hope that you leave a like, comment below what you thought, and subscribe. Tell me what squad build you'd like me to do next. But yeah, peace.